Hey guys, today we're going a bit retro, or at least for this channel. Today we're going to do another review of a phone charger. So I started off this channel doing phone charger reviews and phone cable reviews. And I stopped doing that for a while because I tested the most mainstream models that were out there. But I acquired some new models and I'm also uh, looking at testing some power banks. And uh, yeah, let's see how these new models do. Okay, so let's take a look at the charger. Uh, as you can see, I have a new power measurement uh, brick for in the AC part. Uh, it should have a more a clearer screen and be uh, more accurate than the previous one, so that should be good. And well, let's uh, test the charger like we used to. One of the unique things of this charger is that it has a screen on top which shows the voltage and the amperage. So for convenience and consistency, I still use these uh, USB extension leads. So those are normal, uh, or I need to put it, normal USB on one side and then female USB on the other side, just to extend it. Okay. Nope. There we go. So let's start with a standard 2 amp load. That's actually 1.95. Let me up that. Okay. So now we're at 2 amp uh, on the load. And let's see what the charger itself is saying. It's also saying 2 amps. And uh, 2 amp at 5 volt would be 10 watts. And we're currently seeing 12.4 on the power meter. So that's about 80-75% efficient. That's average, I guess. Okay. The voltage on the load is saying 4.92. So that's not too bad. That's, that's also about average. Okay. So let's see what happens if we connect a second one. Now this charger is officially rated at 2.2 amps output. So if we're drawing one amp or two amps with one output already, uh, it's probably not going to do this. No, it uh, it clearly stopped, and it's trying to restart, but it's not working. So let me dial this amperage down. Nope, still not enough. No. Hmm. Let me disconnect this one. Something odd is happening because this fan is starting to spin really fast, as if the, it has a very big load. But the meter is still off, so I think Something odd is happening. Let me try that again. Okay, meter is booting. Okay, now it's working normally again, so that's fine. Let me add the second one. Okay, that one's now booting, but it's drawing zero amps. So let's raise that and see where it cuts out. Oh, wow. Okay. So now we're at 0 0.25 amps, but as you can see, the voltage of the other one dropped to 3.6, and this one is 3.94. So basically, uh, that's useless. <laughs> that won't really charge your phone anymore. And actually, the input wattage dropped to 10.5-ish. Uh, okay, so this charger... Let me disconnect that. Yep, it immediately jumps back to uh, a correct voltage and wattage. So 
So let's up this one to see how much it can take. Yeah, so 2.2 .2 amps and it really throws down the voltage. Okay. So, well, I will connect my EBD USB and make some power graphs. But I can already tell you, this is a very, very basic charger. It will give you 2.2 .2 amps, and anything above that, the voltage crashes, and it just doesn't work anymore. So, charging one phone or even maybe one iPad, it could do. Uh, and the novelty with the, the meter on there is funny. Um, but not really useful. So I don't think I'd recommend this charger. Uh, I don't know the price. I'll have a link in the description. But um, it's very much average. And the screen's nice. But that's about it. I'll leave it running at maximum load for 10 minutes. And add a temperature graph. Or a temperature video actually. And um, yeah. That kind of concludes this review. As mentioned, I'll have the voltage graph uh, with the EBD USB in my associated blog article. You can find that and the link to this charger on AliExpress in the description. And uh, see you back in the next video. Bye bye.